This video is going to describe a situation that many people encounter when you've been actively making videos and movies and accumulating large libraries of photos and you've begun to overload your hard drive and there's not a lot of room left, your computer is beginning to slow down and you want to move some of your assets over onto an external hard drive to free up space. With iMovie there are some uh, sensitive steps that you have to be careful of before you do that and I'm going to go over some of those. So here's an example of a project called Alligator and I'm going to move that project over onto a hard drive that is connected and that's an external hard drive and you may be tempted to do this in the way that so many other things happen on the iMac and that's by simply grabbing it and dragging it and putting it on the hard drive. You'll notice it just sprang right back. It didn't work. So the correct way to do this is to move it to the hard drive which also appears on your library. Before I do that, let's just to show you how the file structure works with iMovie. I've got the finder sitting in the background here, so let's click on that. We'll go to movies because that's the default folder that iMovie always uses. And inside uh, iMovie, inside movies, there are two important folders. One is called iMovie projects. Let's click on that. And I know that that alligator project is under family projects. So I'm going to click on family projects and there it is. That's the project folder for the project I created right there. Now let's go down to iMovie events. Click on iMovie events and here's a folder for alligator and all the assets, all the little film clips and things are kept in there. So let's close the finder, go back to this folder and now I'm going to move this to my book FCE which is the same location that this is. Now this is important. This window here is a, an important window to study and do exactly uh, what it asks. You have two choices here. If you copy the project, what you're copying is just the project that is the, uh, the video that you created. It's not copying the events. So if you use this approach you're only copying, you're only moving 4 megabytes instead of 185 megabytes. Uh, but if you were to go back and want to edit this project, you would have to attach that hard drive and go out and use this project because it has to come back to the host computer to get all the events. So a better way to do that is to click on copy project uh, and events. Now it's going to take everything that's here and everything that's down here and move the whole thing over to the hard drive so that you could actually take that hard drive to another computer, connect it, and if it has iMovie on it, you'd be able to edit the project in that folder. So let's do that. Let's click Copy Projects and Events. Now it's busy copying. This is a small project, so it didn't take very long. And it's almost done. Now it's finished. Now look what's happened. Under My Book FCE is the Alligator Project, but it's also down here. It's in the family projects. Well, the whole reason for copying it was to free up space. So, easy enough, let's select it here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to pick Move Project to Trash. And now I'm going to go down here to the event file and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click on that event and I'm going to say Move Event to Trash. And just to prove that all this has happened the way it's supposed to, let's go back to the finder, which is hiding behind the screen. And now let's go look at iMovies and let's check the iMovie projects. And let's go under Family Projects and the Alligator Project is gone. Let's go down to iMovie Events. And I think last time we were here we saw one right up here for Alligator. So it has cleared out that project from the hard drive on the host computer. Now let's go down and look at the new hard drive and see what it did there. So let's go to iMovie Projects and now we're looking at this hard drive now. iMovie Projects and there's the Alligator Project. Let's go to iMovie Events and there's the Alligator Event. So everything happened as it should have and you have just freed up all the space that was being used but if you want to go back and edit that project again it's still there. When you click on it and you want to edit it it's going to actually go out and use the project on that other hard drive. 
So that's the end of this video and I think you'll find that if you follow these instructions you shouldn't have any trouble freeing up plenty of memory and have room for new projects to put on your computer. Thank you for your time. Thanks for listening.